In other 1980s news, <laughs> Air quotes. according to the Washington Post, uh, the glass blocks of the 1980s bathrooms are back. <laughs> I have a confession uh -huh. to make. Oh, ooh, let's hear well, it. I didn't know they ever left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. <laughs> yes. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. My master bathroom has a wall of glass blocks. And I'm like, oh, no, of course shit. I do. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. They're I so pretty. Awesome. I didn't even put a curtain over them. I just leave them raw because you can see the sun coming through. And when it's dark yeah. out, it's, you know, you see the lights that are rim around the glass. It's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. It, I wasn't aware they so were well, out then, of fashion, though. And I was, I was very gauche in my house. Yeah. <laughs> well, then you're poised to then uh, really respond to some of the comments that they make here in the Washington Post. Yeah. Uh, because they say, along with 1980s neon manicures and vintage 90s blazers, glass blocks are making a comeback thanks in part to a new fan base on social media. <laughs> now, one Instagram reel showcasing several types of the retro building material has racked up more than 5 million views. That's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> it features cross-hatched blocks, frosted blocks, and fluted blocks, underscoring the fact that the latest iterations aren't always quite what you remember from your aunt's gaudy apartment Ooh. or john's oh, mr bathroom Ow. Ow. <laughs> now according to the washington post they have more than just good looks going for them mm -hmm. and they provide us with these uh, reasons that the uh, what they refer to as the glass block renaissance <laughs> uh, making sense the first one privacy and light mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. there's a very good reason the glass blocks come to come to be associated with luxury in the 80s and 90s Bathrooms, they let in natural light without exposing inhabitants to the outside world. Mm -hmm. I, uh, look, that that's true, right? I mean, I, I've been in people's homes that have those in their mm -hmm. bathrooms. Uh -huh. And I want to say one of them was like, a sh maybe it separated the shower sure. even from mm -hmm. the... seen that too. Okay. Okay. I didn't... I still feel na like naked in there. Like, <laughs> sure, I look like I'm pixelated right, now. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't feel any well, more uh, 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 or less vulnerable. More private. Or <laughs> right. Here's the thing, Will. As long oh. as you're just showering, yeah. it'll be fine. Your silhouette yeah. will just be <laughs> okay. But if you're in there overusing the conditioner, probably they'll be able to see what's going on through the glass blocks. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! Yeah, there you go. That's the real. That's the real. <laughs> but yeah and i saw in some of these images these folks are using these glass blocks for an exterior wall right and I, like a, in the yep. bedroom no i don't want any i would keep the lights off all the time <laughs> and i'd have curtains over the glass block wall defeating the purpose of it i, I could see yeah in that picture i could see they got mm -hmm. a chair pretty yeah. easily yeah you can see silhouettes uh, yeah. like you said like pixely yeah, yeah it's blurry yeah, yeah. but mm -hmm. yeah like you could yeah. see a human figure doing something walking yes. or whatever you might be doing on the side of those glass blocks but it's it's anonymous unless i guess they know you're there in which case they know who it is yeah exactly yeah. i don't know wouldn't it be enough like let's say you have a neighbor that you know yeah you know they've seen your flesh colored square boxes you know moving about i, I don't know that's i don't know, I don't know. send them a bill <laughs> yeah i mean i ha look i can't I can't use a urinal in a public restroom if there's another guy in the whole row of them. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how close he is. And some some weirdos come right up to you, even though there's a bunch of empty ones. Right. Like, what are you doing down there? Can I share with you? But, can so, I use the same I, I don't know. <laughs> it's busy over here. Just spread your legs a little longer. I'm a shorter fellow. A little we wider. Call that thread I'm a shorter needle. fellow. I can. <laughs> Let's conserve space, water, single flush. <laughs> Yeah, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> That's the future of conservation. Our next Olympic event, synchronized urination. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't think that. Another thing they say is affordability, which might be true. It says the cost for an individual project is is highly variable, okay. but the in, the architects that they interviewed said uh, that it's an affordable option. Oh. Uh, and they give this example, they said that uh, a, a glass block wall with labor and installation would typically typically cost about 30 to $40 per square foot. By tradition, or sorry, by comparison, a traditional glass wall would run closer to $100 per square hmm. foot. 
hmm, you know how much sheetrock costs? <laughs> yeah, right? A few two befores. And, and, and yeah. studs? Yeah. I mean, come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Am I the yeah, only okay. one that forever well, I have seen, yeah. and maybe it's just in the South, glass blocks are always available and always cheap. Like as a craft mm, item, I see okay. people cramming fairy lights into them for Christmas time. And oh, so, wow. so their lights are inside of the block and then you plug yeah. it in and it's like this, oh, pretty, because the same way it diffuses the light going through it, it diffuses the light going out from the inside. And so it has okay. these blurry, oh, wow. fuzzy lights in there. <laughs> Is it just here? You never seen this? No. Maybe it's just no. the Florida thing. I guess thing? since they're I mean, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Uh, it's it's got to be because of the you know the the the, the, the uh, qualities they're just you know attributing to these, in particular the light. You, you live in a sunnier environment than we do in the mm-hmm. north. Uh-huh. You know, so mm-hmm. I wonder if that's part of it. Yeah. Maybe. But if you have the if you have the lights in the blocks, what does that do to my nude body when I'm trying to hide now? <laughs> those aren't oh. those aren't used at the same time. You either have a wall of them. Or you have what they oh, sell is like okay. a single block that's filled with lights and you plug right. it in. You put on a mantle and it's like a pretty yeah. shiny oh, light thing. Oh, I see oh, yeah. what you're saying. I'm so, it's glad, a... yeah. I'm so glad I never like was embarrassed by my, <laughs> my, my glass blocks and took them out only to find they're back in fashion now and want to put them back in. Right. So yeah. Just yeah, stick it out. Are... Everything old is new again. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's right. Time for the bell bottoms. <laughs> time for the glass blocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Washington Post also says that safety, they, they provide uh, more safety. They says glass blocks can also enhance the safety of a structure. Uh, <laughs> this architect, I assume, uh, they quote says, quote, uh, one reason you'd use glass blocks instead of just a window is you're trying to achieve a fire rating. That oh. means we can utilize them in places where you wouldn't otherwise be able to put a transparent material. Oh. Because if there's a fire in your house, glass will just shatter, mm-hmm. whereas the glass blocks will last longer. Oh. All right. Hey, hey guys. Uh-huh. If there's a fire in my house, I want the glass to shower. Oh, shower. You went out. I'm like, let me the fuck out of here. It's like, gung, gung. Who put these glass blocks here? <laughs> gung, gung. And then someone outside. I mean, it's a horrible can idea. can see your silhouette. Like, Will is dancing by firelight <laughs> yes. in there. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Looking good, Will. <laughs> Help me, it's on fire. <laughs> Did you know glass blocks also provide great acoustic insulation? I'm, Can't make out what I'm you're saying. I'm just now learning that. What? Yeah. <laughs> and this will be the reason that uh, appeals most to you, John, is the Washington Post says they're cool. Mm-hmm. They are cool. Because they're sealed <laughs> and have dead space inside, so dead air is an insulator. Heck yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's not good. I mean, that's okay. good. Uh, but this also, yeah, and this uh, says that uh, the architectural history is actually more than just cutting edge and timeless. Huh. Oh, their history, sorry. The glass blocks have an architectural history that is more cutting edge and timeless than their 1980s reputation might suggest. Uh, according to this one architect, they're, they're, they're a throwback to uh, 1930s Paris. Ah. They were first used I'm fancier oh. than even I knew. Yes, yeah. you are. Oh. I remember them in the schools that I went to. Oh, yes. Oh. I remember them in the grammar school okay. I went to in the high school. Yeah. Now, they were built before the 80s, so I, I guess they were on the cutting edge <laughs> of something. Uh, yeah, I, that's, that's where I specifically remember them most strongly from. In the, mm-hmm. in the stairwells, the windows in the stairwells were those mm-hmm. glass blocks. And then there was a fire. Then. And- <laughs> yeah and no one oh no <laughs> these pictures like throwing a chair again to trying to get out it won't break Ding. these are so structurally sound <laughs> at least you're hey scary. honey you know how we could save money and be cool <laughs> remember when you said that <laughs> uh steve suggests you buy them up john it could be a hot seller soon <laughs> <laughs> invested I also futures think so. in glass blocks that's that's where my entire yeah. retirement is going there now <laughs> calling my financial advisor I think steve's also steve's also watching me in my house as it burns oh, okay. right? so will's using his conditioner again <laughs> <laughs> no i'm dying I'm, I'm glad that wasn't missed by someone <laughs> karen says we showered our master ba- uh, ba- uh, bathroom Used to have glass blocks, but now it's clear. Mm. I mean, so now they're clear so blocks. A window? Or clear glass. Maybe it's a clear. Aka <laughs> <laughs> window. I just have a shower curtain in mine. Oh, okay. okay. All right. 
Uh, she also asked, John, do you ha also have a toilet paper doll? Oh. Oh, <laughs> you, oh you remember those? Yeah, creepy <laughs> things. Those are always creepy, yeah. Macrame, usually. Oh. To like... Yes, yeah. I was going to say crochet, but I think you're Whichever. right. Yeah. 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 Like the skirt, the, the skirt, skirt to cover yeah. it. Because yeah. yeah. what you do is you, you put the paper t tissue on the plunger and then put the doll over top of the thing. And if you need a plunger, you got to strip that doll quickly. <laughs> Because, and you're throwing toilet tissue and you're throwing a doll and you're cranking the plunger and then you're like, okay, right. let's reassemble this doll who looks traumatized on the floor. <laughs> After the doll's dropped into the toilet, to the horror <laughs> or waiting below. Shake it off. <laughs> Just wring it out. It's fine. Yeah. It's back to it's normal. Mostly water. <laughs> Uh, Brandon says, I've seen glass block walls between rooms that also have an open space as a window between rooms. What the hell is the point of that? <laughs> no, that's just to be cool, Brandon. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That's just, that's just somebody that wants to live in Florida and can't afford it. Yeah. That's money to burn. <laughs> or someone who wants to feel like they're, you know, uh, voyeuristic or something. You know? Right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Honey, honey, go in the kitchen while I'm in the living room. I'm going to watch you cook. I'm concerned people can't tell what we're doing inside of our house. Could we change out some of these windows? <laughs> yeah. You know what I would do, I guess, if I had all that? I just wear, I would wear all like nude colored clothing all the time. <laughs> so then when I'm actually nude, people wouldn't be able to know. I think that would give me a level of comfort in my mind, at least. That's, that's very interesting. Um, Why not just be hmm. nude? It's so much easier. <laughs> No, because then they'll know I'm nude if it's just <laughs> nude during the nude times. <laughs> the nude. Also, I'm going to walk around like this with my with things in my hand. <laughs> so nothing seems abnormal. <laughs> with the block, with the plunger, oh. with the doll. I got paper. shake weights. I'm always, I'm going to just What's get Will doing? Weights. Oh, no, no. He always has those spasms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he must have a friend over. <laughs> oh, right, we're definitely right. over our quota now. I thought, yes. I know. I'm gonna thought. get billed. I'm gonna get the bills. <laughs> Good thing we have support. That's what that this. Patreon money's for—to pay for the porn overages. That's, yeah, we need some more patrons. Right? We need, can we get the July. free nights and weekends porn? Like you know, my old the cell phone yeah. plan. After nine o'clock, it's cheaper Maybe. porn. Yeah. <laughs> 